two. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Fifth set, first leg, right at the throat first. Game on! The standard of this match, Rod, it's atmospheric. And it keeps getting better. And that's a world record. Tournament record. Call it whatever record you want. It is a record. Last year, 654. You'd have to say that 700 now in sight with this match and the final to come. The record for any darts match is 34 180s when Anderson played Lewis in last year's final. To say it could actually be under threat in this game. 45. 33 in the Anderson Chisnell game earlier on in the tournament, in the quarters. Wow, Ten darts are on for Barney here, and amongst all that. Yeah, what a great leg. His finger when sitting up 41 if he misses. Oh, that was a silly thought. He had a great marker. And Raymond Van Barneveld leads this darts match again. But for how long? Anybody that doesn't know darts is going to get the wrong idea about how, how hard it is to play while watching this. Stray second dart, denying us the prospect of a nine dart leg, but you feel that it could be on at any time, any tick of the clock. Goodness me. That's 20 in the match so far, and we're in the 18th leg. And that is the 30th visit of between 140 and 177. Oh, and that takes Barney out of finishing range. Well, Michael probably Lincoln not Harrison. much of an issue. Probably, if you're going to get a bounce out, that was a good time to get it. Game shot. That's just not the job now. My Michael in third leg, Raymond to three first. Max level again. You don't want to bounce out in a leg you're starting with the scoring Michael of this standard. 34. Van Gerwen defending a run of 31 consecutive victories in televised darts matches since Phil Taylor defeated him at the Champions League darts, the final of that event, in fact. Ninth maximum and a 40th for the tournament. You know, saying that, Rod, you think maybe Raymond did did Michael a favor beating Phil, but you can't say that because how could Phil have played any as, as well as Raymond has? Who knows what's even possible anymore? Is anything impossible? Top stand, and then it goes again, and on it goes again. And the break comes and now he throws for the set and a 3-2 lead yeah a mere 11 dart leg that one 96 a mere 96 to open this so Raymond will like the sound of that chance to try and break back but he's not capitalizing at least not in terms of the standard of this match well, earlier on in the tournament Christo Reyes averaged over 106 in defeat to the phenomenal wow. Michael Van Gerwen moment, Raymond van Barneveld is averaging 113 and he's getting beat by Michael van Gerwen. Well, no matter who wins this match, I think that record's wow. in jeopardy. Any record is in jeopardy. Every record is in jeopardy. There isn't the st stat you can find that wow. isn't in jeopardy here if they carry on like this. Reminder that Phil Taylor's top average at the World Championship, the best ever, is 111. 
And well, even I'll throw this in. I, I can't see that they can get to it. But his world record average on TV, Van Gerwen, is 123.4. It's too long a match for that. But here's another 13 darter in prospect and another set in prospect for the Green Machine. Oh, 180 just to pull himself back in. No. So it stops to go up 3 2, double 10. Yeah, you want to make sure of it because Raymond always a threat. Always a threat, Raymond. Well, especially the king of the nine dial finish. 141 is right up his alley. Just over pitched a smidgen. One and run out five. Well, a match of very few missed doubles. Surely not another three at it to be missed. No, no bother. And Michael Van Gerwen now is back in front again in this epic encounter between the two great Dutchmen, two of the greatest dartists ever seen on the world stage are really serving up a tungsten treat tonight it's 3-2 to Michael Van Gerwen but Barney can he battle back join us in a couple of minutes to find out <laughs> the flying Scotsman pulled away and here in this match there's never been more than a set between the two players Van Barneveld led one set to nil Van Gerwen has had the lead since then 2-1 and now 3-2 and he now has the darts too well, yeah, and as wow. in the set uh, four, when Raymond has to uh, break back, as you as as you would say, and uh, he's faced with that same very I difficult task. He did do it before. It's going to be uh, pretty hard to do it again and again. Well, Barney still averaging 112, his best ever televised average 113 in the 2012 19. European Championships 112.29 in the 2012 Premier League it's against Kevin Painter One, right out, is seven, there a threshold two, when you play that as well as Raymond has and you're still behind is there a threshold where it just gets too much we'll right soon out, see four, as Van Gerwen leaves what is now his signature shot the 170 which he's taken out three times in this tournament so far, and he wants the ball. Wow, oh, Michael. Teased us. Outrageous antics. Yeah, he teed it up, and then he teased us. Wow, well, that was amazing, five. really, when you consider Barnabo wasn't on a finish, and he could easily have just given it the full showman. But he wishes he had a stab at it now. Can well, he gets it done in the end on leg. double five. Well, there's a lot of respect in that decision, isn't there? 97. Respect of an opponent, of a legend, and also a respect of how he's played the match so far. You don't want to mess about. Put the percentages on your side. He did that all right. Well, he took it out twice, the big fish, in his uh, last game against Daryl Gurney and once in the match before. It's Christo Reyes. Goodness. And also not having to do it. But he does have a stab. Yeah, he had a go. And Michael's not even on a finish now, so it doesn't matter. Barney's got plenty of time for the first time, really, in the match. A huge oasis of time to luxuriate over. It doesn't always help the concentration, but Barney comes through on this turn. Oh, that's his 
his 13th and it might be unlucky for Michael Van Gerwen in this leg. Yeah, sorely needed. But then again, a third 177, he's had a 174 as well just for a bit of variety. Well, if you add all those to his nine 180s, he's, he's right there with Raymond. 13. 37. Of 170 or more. A race from 184 down here. 118. Well, I was going to say 66 is not a cert, but may well hold that thought. What are you going to leave here, Raymond? He's trying to leave that double eight. I think he really likes that. So treble 10. He's got 20 for double 18 for 2 1. And he knows what that means. Hold it, throw, deny an opportunity. As he realizes this is his set. He should win it. Doesn't want Raymond to level it once again, as in the fourth set. Awesome reaction. Yeah, only, awesome arrows. Yeah, only a 66 out, but it's it's the timing of points in the match and the set play. And it's really quite an even match. That, winning that leg put uh, Michael ahead 12-11 in legs overall, so they were even right before then, even with this difference in sets. The vagaries of the set form. Just relentless now, it's remorseless. That's his 10th maximum to take the average to 115. Remember, in defeat last year, he averaged 106. Should switch to treble 18 here, and that's exactly what he's done to leave a possibly forlorn double 16. Double 16 for Michael, and he gets it in two. <laughs> and that's he gets a 4 2 lead. First leg, first well, Michael thought there was a break, was about to walk off. I bet Raymond wishes he'd walk off permanently and never come back ever again. Well, that's what he needs is a comeback of his own. It's just difficult to know what you can do here because Barney, well, he's never played better on television, basically, and yet he's still coming up short. He's only losing 13 11 in legs, but as you pointed out, John. That's the vagaries of the set format. He's 4-2 behind in sets, playing the match of his life. I mean, what do you do? I remember after the final against Phil Taylor 2009 when he said, I practice, I practice, I practice 10 hours a day, I cannot beat this man. He must be feeling the same about Van Gerwen now. Yeah, it's like that threshold of belief. I mean, how long can you play 112 average like Raymond is and, and continue to slip behind? And, and how long can you maintain that? There must be a breaking point. And this might be signs of it. Because Michael well ahead against the throw here. Down to 82 after nine darts against the throw. And you get the sense, and maybe Raymond's getting that sense that it's a lost cause. One on Michael, you require 82. It's in, double 16. That's in two. You know when you sometimes practice, John, against a computer and it just keeps hitting 180s and going out on 141 and two dart finishes? Is this what it's like? Yeah, it's pretty much like this. You think that could never happen? That that could never happen. And, uh, you assure yourself that it's just a silly computer program. Well, I once called Phil Taylor the Tungsten Terminator. In the original 1984 film, Schwarzenegger was the Terminator, but then they built a better model. This is the better model. They've come back with a new Terminator, and his name is Michael Van Gerwen. And there doesn't appear to be anything that any human being can do to stop him. Well, he does play like he came from the future. Wow, 
and that doesn't leave him a finish. So the way Michael's gone, he's going to go for double 18 for a one, two, one. Just, just at a, a trot, a gallop, a trot. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's e at ease. Don't ask me, John. The English language is not a powerful enough tool to describe it. Double 18. Game show on the second leg. Well, he is just unstoppable on this evidence. Yeah, it's like his trot is faster than Raymond's gallop. But Raymond is going at some pace. You can't blame Barney. Well, that's my point. I know. <laughs> that's no. my point. He's both players treating us to excellent darts that the finest darts you could want to ever see this is excellence all around excellence 116 michael average 111 raymond and truly the finest of gems of a match But it does Six look like it's leading towards Michael Van Gerwen getting to the final. Winner! Mesmeric. This will be another 11 dart leg. Well, 174 to lead 36. But he must feel it's just more or less a total not a waste of time. Or is it? He's got to hit this. He has got to hit this. He, to be fair to Van Barneveld, he has stood up to this barrage incredibly. Well played, fantastic from Raymond Van Barneveld. Really, really good finish from Barney. No, it was just double 18, but John, in, in the face of the onslaught that he has been subjected to, even that really requires you to take your hat off to him. Well, it, it's Raymond... His dignity is there. Everything about him is a champion. Getting saluted, serenaded by the audience here. They love it. And they love that 180. That's 13 apiece officially. Well, it seems almost certain barring a green machine malfunction that he's going to set well, a new benchmark for the greatest average ever seen in a world championship match because at the moment he's four points ahead of the pace set by phil taylor he had a slight malfunction wow. there he didn't leave a finish he's fortunate raymond didn't leave hit a 140 or 180. Two darts at double four, and he only needs one, and now he only needs one set also to move through to the final, where he would face the world champion Gary Anderson. The top two seeds will clash unless Barnabel to produce an absolutely astonishing fight back. Barney doesn't know what to hit him. Unbelievable dart to Michael Van Gerwen, 115.653 dart average. Barney's average at 110.58. Wayne Marvel, how can a man take that sort of pressure? It, it's unplayable. You, you, cannot, you cannot play Michael tonight. It's one of those performances that we've, we've never seen before. The 1-2-3 he had in the Premier League was over eight legs. He's averaging 115 and a half over 28 legs. We're talking, Barney's throwing.